Welcome. Okay, let's get started. And then once again, just as a reminder, just check your space, make sure there's nothing to trip on. Uh, you really don't need to go very far in one direction or the other. And uh, again, I'll be your mirror image. So uh, I'll move slow enough that you can follow me and enjoy. So this is a little set of Qigong warm-up exercises. There are so many uh, yoga and Qigong and other mind-body practices. I have a lot of great stretching and exercises, uh, but this is a little set that I like. And this is kind of an easy set. So um, again, follow your own pace, your own range of movement, do what feels right to you. So our first one we're gonna start with is called dream walking. And we're gonna begin by clasping the hands behind the back one into the other and uh, either way whatever feels more comfortable to you do that and we're going to put a little bit of gentle pressure up towards the kidneys and lower back and then our feet are going to be about hip width apart they might be as wide as shoulder width apart depending on what feels comfortable but typically just your natural comfortable standing posture with your hands clasped slightly behind the back and we're going to begin by lifting one heel off the ground and we're going to alternate to the other side and we're just going to slowly move back and forth from one heel to the other. So this is dream walking. And this is going to help to warm up the legs, get blood circulating, lubricate the joints, and get our chi flowing. And our, one of our key sources of energy is from the earth. Again, you can think about physics and the pushback from the earth, uh, from gravity, as energy rises through the body, you can think about it as uh, you know Mother Earth, inertia, and energy, whatever feels right to you. But we're going to use this stream walking side to side, and then I can pick up the pace a little bit, but I want to keep it gentle, especially in the beginning. And we're going to basically going to help to pump energy through the body, and especially we're going to be activating the kidney channel which is just behind the ball in the center of the foot, uh, right as you're going up into the arch. And this is also known as bubbling wells. And for those of you who are familiar with the energy systems of chakras, or Dan Tian, as, as Chinese would call it, uh, energy centers, this one helps to stimulate energy flow into the body through the legs, and also helps to feed the root chakra. And then uh, we're going to be vitalizing the kidneys. And if none of that is for you, it's a good exercise. Helps to warm you up a little bit. Gets the hips moving a little bit side to side. I'll give you a side view now, but you can stay where you're at. And I'm just lifting one heel off the ground, keeping the balls and the toes connected to the earth. And I could speed it up, uh, but you can also keep it light, easy, and slow. Typically, the faster I'm moving, the less my heels will come off the ground. And then if I slow it down, I can really lift the knee and really lift the heel off the ground and uh, you know get more of an exaggerated movement, but then I can also um, speed it up. And the idea is to become light on your feet. So light that you could dance across the clouds. Dream walk. You can start with 30 seconds of this, a minute of this, and then just like anything else, see how your body responds to it. You know, see how you feel over the next, you know, rest of the day or the next day or so. And now we'll slow it down and relax. Very simple way to warm up the body as well is through the hips and the abdomen and the core. And we're just going to do a simple hip circling exercise. So but first I'm going to shift to one side. Just kind of open up the hip joints a little bit, shift to the other side. And then I'm going to gently begin to circulate my hips. So I'm going to move my pelvis forward, like I'm leaning back a little bit, and then to the side. And then I'm going to push my butt back, and then to the side, and just begin to gently circle. So yours might be very moderate circle, gentle rotation. Yours might be fairly exaggerated. But notice that my head and eyes are looking forward. My toes are pointed forward and my feet are hip width apart. I'm going to focus this rotation around the spine and around the hips and get some circulation in my ankle joints and around my cervical vertebrae. 
And then again, you know, however many repetitions that feel right to you for as long as you feel right. And then when you're ready to reverse the circle, go back the other direction. Ready to relax the shoulders, hands around the hips, and we're going to move as slow and easy as we like. Really no need to move too fast in this one. We'll do a couple more reps. Counting rotations is a pretty good idea just to keep things symmetric, balanced. Uh, but I'd, I'll just kind of wrap it up here and back to the center and relax. The next one we're going to do is called trunk twisting. And now instead of moving in the hips, we're going to turn from the waistline. There's going to be a little bit of movement of the hips side to side, uh, but the focus is going to be again at the core and rotating in the spine and the waistline. So I'm relax my arms at the sides and I begin turning side to side. Again, my feet are about hip width apart, my toes pointing forward, my head nice straight ahead. And this can be nice and slow and gentle, relaxed. Pay attention to how your spine feels, how your body responds to this. And then when you're ready to, you can speed it up a little bit. Typically, the faster I move, the harder I swing, the higher my arms will move away from my body, just like on a, you know, a swing. And then you can also begin to flip the hands up and tap lightly on the shoulder and lower back. Hoping to wake up the spine, get that twist and that flexibility, that rotation. And again, keep it light and easy and gentle. But if you're feeling good with that, you could twist a little harder. And this your arms wrap all the way around your body before going to the other side. Slightly tapping the kidney and the upper shoulder. You can imagine like a diagonal spark, an arc of energy going from one hand to the other diagonally through the body. And then we get this spiraling movement from the feet up to the spine. And when you're ready to slow it down and relax. Good. One more. Shaking the branches of the tree. You just imagine um, you know, moving into winter and fall, the leaves are changing color and falling from the tree, and it's letting go of the the leaves that were you know, feeding the tree, but now it's going to make room for new growth for when the spring comes and new leaves spring up. So we're going to gently shake out the wrists and fingers. And you're, you know, depending on your body, you might just kind of move a little bit and just start there. Um, again, the more rigorous we move, uh, it's going to be a little bit more demanding on the body. So just pay attention to what your body needs. That's what really this is all about, is learning to pay attention, to listen to the wisdom of the body. And now I'm going to move it into my knees and my feet, and really most of my movement is happening at my center and radiating outward, but you can kind of imagine it's bouncing gently up and down on the knees. You might skip that part and just focus on the arms, shaking the branches of the tree, and just letting go of any stress any tension, any buildup that's been occurring, we're just going to shake that free and get up into the shoulders a little bit. We haven't really talked about breathing that much, but always pay attention to your breath and just breathe in and out. Shaking the branches of the tree, and if you'd like to, you can shake a leg, and you can shake another leg. Well, enjoy this little warm up, and then if you want to do the replay and just follow the movements, you can just turn off the sound and just go with the movements uh, if you no longer need the instruction. Namaste.